sourdough pizza. Let me run through here. We've got tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, olive oil, onions, peppers, spicy chicken, sweet corn, and jalapenos. I tell you what, that sounds absolutely amazing. Right then guys, welcome back. It's the Food Troll and it's another street food review. We have come to Blackburn. Uh, the name of this road is Lamech Road. And we've come to try out Woodfire Pizza. These guys have been here for about probably five or six months. Uh, we've heard a lot about this place, sourdough pizzas. Made in the wood fire. Ali, do you want to come around here? Can have a look there? Pizzas are made in a wood fire oven. This place looks absolutely amazing. Menu, pretty limited, which I like to see. We've been wanting to try this place out for quite a while. I know it's late, it's dark, it's been a long day, and we cannot wait to get stuck into some of this pizza. Let's see what the fuss is all about. Right then guys, here we are. I like the fact that they've got a little bit of a tent going on here as well, where you can come in and you can enjoy your food. I will say it's pretty cold, but you've got, have a look up there Ali, they've got these heaters up there. I don't know why that one's not working. Uh, actually, I might try pressing this button, see what happens. No, that's not budging. Anyway, here we are, wood fired pizzas. Lamek wood fried pizzas. Wood fired. Wood fired. What did I say, Ali? Sorry? Wood fried. Wood fried. Wood fired. It's been a long day, guys. Right then. <laughs> we got ourselves. Ali, can you pass me can you pass with the menu, please? We got the Mexican wood fried pizza. And I shall tell you what is on here. Have a look at that first, Ali. Sourdough pizza. Let me run through here. We've got tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, olive oil, onions, peppers, spicy chicken, sweet corn, and jalapenos. I tell you what, that sounds absolutely amazing. Nine pound. I'm not gonna say that's expensive because I don't think it is. Not for a pizza, wood fire pizza. It looks quality. Sourdough as well. So let's get stuck in, Ali. I will say one thing, it is absolutely cold, it's freezing, and I'm hoping that this pizza warms me up. Right, getting close, Ali, let's have a look here. There we are. Take a look at that. Have a look underneath as well. Believe it or not, this took about two or three minutes to cook in that wood fire oven which we showed you earlier. The secret, my friends, is in the taste. I cannot tell you how delicious this pizza is. I've not had a wood fire pizza for quite a while, so you can still see a steam coming off that. The meat as well. Look at them pieces of the chicken, Ali. Absolutely cooked to perfection. I'm not too keen on them onions, because I actually believe the onions always end up being a bit raw. So I'm not keen on onions on pizzas, I should have said minus the onions, but they're on there. But you know what? Everything else is working perfectly. You've got quality mozzarella, you've got the quality sauce as well, quality toppings. Have a look at this Ali, look how perfectly cooked that is. This was cooked in a matter of minutes. See that? Look underneath, absolutely hardly any grease. Look underneath that pizza as well, look at that base, sourdough. Absolutely amazing. Wow. I asked him if they had any sauces, garlic, chili, because you know how much I love my sauces with my pizza. What they do is they actually brush on garlic and chili on the pizza. There's no sauces when you come here. 
they just brush it on and it's got a lovely lovely taste the garlic and chili the chili is not too strong the garlic is not too strong it works absolutely perfectly with this pizza look at the crustali I'm just wondering whether or not they would do a stuffed crust pizza wood fire. Wow. Mmm. Unfortunately, they don't sell drinks. So if you want a drink, you have to go to the shop across the road. They don't deliver, they don't do just eat. So if you want it, you can have to travel down here, come and collect it, get it and eat it in here as well. Fantastic. Fanta Red, once again, Fanta is back after a few reviews. It can get a bit dry. The base is a bit dry. I could have done with it being a bit more fluffy. Maybe have a, not so much of a dry texture on that base. Wow. Now then. I just want to say a lot of the viewers have been asking questions on Instagram and we always say to you guys get on the Instagram any feedback a lot of people have been asking about our channel and what they want to know is whether or not the food troll is it actually a serious food reviewing channel this people say there seems to be a bit of a comedy element in what we do here but I can say to you 150% the channel is deadly 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 serious when it comes to food and we always give reviews good honest reviews i can understand where the comedy element comes from ali who's behind the camera not many of you know but he's my oldest son and we have a like a friend kind of relationship not a father son it's more like friend and friend we get together we have a bit of a laugh sometimes that laugh element may get introduced into our reviews we apologize if none of you don't like it or if there's a few of you who don't like it it's just the way we do our reviews so that's clear we are a serious serious channel and this here is one serious serious pizza and it's i mean look it's light it's fluffy the topping sits perfectly on there ali they, i think they put on a bit too much of this uh, jalapenos maybe cut down on all this stuff here on all the onions and that there seems to be the pizza seems to be overloaded I don't think it needs all that because I think the toppings I mean the chicken the mozzarella a, a few a vegetable a few peppers and so on I think that does the trick it doesn't need to be overloaded it doesn't need to be overpowered because I think the pizza the way it is without all this extra onions and peppers and that I think it works perfectly price Mexican pizza like I said nine pound have a look at their menu Ali you won't get any sides it's pure pure pizzas nothing but pizzas opening hours they are open Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday half three till ten o'clock Friday Saturday Sunday half three till eleven o'clock now then we also got ourselves a cheesy garlic bread like I said, they never had any sides. They've been busy as hell out there. People parking up, coming in, collecting their pizza, and away they go. Have a look at that, Ali. Wow. That smells absolutely amazing. Once again, perfectly cooked. Have a look. It's light as well. Very, very light. I can hardly feel that. That is a light, light pizza. Light and fluffy. Let's have a which is it this wow you know what that has to be one of the finest garlic breads cheesy garlic breads I've tried I'm a big fan of garlic there's a lovely, lovely taste of garlic coming. They could have done with a bit more cheese on. They're a bit light on the cheese. I'm tasting more garlic than I am cheese. But once again, that sourdough, that base, 
the garlic taste. Have a look at these air pockets here, Ali, as well. Look at that. The pockets there. Come look at this, Ali. Here. Look at that there. Air pockets. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to get a bite of that air pocket because that looks absolutely amazing. Wow. The base has got like a crispy, fluffy, light taste about it. Wow. I'm so surprised that there's a place like this in Blackburn. We get used to kebabs, burgers, fried chicken, curries, wood fire pizzas in Blackburn. Are you having a laugh? For all of you who don't know about this place, I really recommend you come and try this place. Why? Because the food troll is telling you that these pizzas are absolutely amazing. Now, I'm going to save some of this for Ali. Because I can see him licking his lips. Now then. The food troll has travelled all the way down, as you know, from the northeast to Blackburn. We've reviewed quite a few places. This is the last stop for us now. It's nearly nine o'clock. We're going to be heading off. It's our last place. And I tell you what, it's been an absolute pleasure. The food troll... When it comes to giving a score to this place, it's going to be giving Lamok wood fire pizzas a massive, a respectable, outstanding 9.2. Lamok wood fire pizzas on a cold, freezing, should I say, Saturday evening, is going to say that you guys have officially been food troll. <laughs> certified we shall see you for the next one now then guys if you guys have enjoyed the content if you guys have enjoyed our reviews why not hit the like button why not hit the subscribe button why not share the video and let everybody else enjoy the reviews as well uh, also just want to say a lot of people don't really know when we upload our videos I just want to say to all my subscribers all them viewers out there when you hit the subscribe button hit that little bell icon as well why because every time we upload you'll get a ding -a ling a ling a ling like a little ping to tell you that the food troll is uploading a review has uploaded a review check it out anyway guys it's been emotional as Vinnie Jones said in lock stock and two smoking barrels I shall see you again very, very soon. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing. God bless. Take care.